Hey, Bublin, coming in, crushing this art. Welcome to Bublin's Astrologic Numerology. Today is the 34th, 34th, um, well, for you, or you're curious about 34th. Um, yeah, so I'm doing this late. Um, so yeah, so when we get into it, 34 um, finds itself to be water, being divisible by two, but only once, uh, then becoming 17. Uh, and its visual root is 7, thus we see it's in the 7, 8, 9 mutable realm, playing one, a 1, 4, or 7, aka a cardinal. Uh, see, it's at the beginning of the last realm. So yeah. So that's just getting straight into it. So now once we break down what this would look like, um, is this is water in the mutable realm, right? Playing 7. So already we know this is playing a very supportive very um, um, serviceable, uh, taking up for people, you know, uh, kind of role. Um, yeah, being in the mutable realm and being water, it's very Pisces, right? Uh, 34, 35, 36 are actually the decans corresponding to Pisces. Um, yeah, fair enough. Um, so yeah, so once we start to see then, or once we start to visualize this a little bit, we start to understand that we're water and we're very selfless in the mutable realm. So we're always getting caught up in new experiences and probably learning a lot about the world um, since water gets caught up more than any other sign and kind of has more experiences. Um, same with fire, right? Which is why but behind me you see like Sagittarius and Pisces in this black bit. Um, they're, they're like one of the most learning signs because they're the mutables of the fire and the water. Um, like being some of the most changeable, getting sucked up into situations, thus having to learn and then safeguard themselves in the future. Um, so yeah, that's something that would apply here. Uh, we also see though that this person is still creative and coming from a personal aspect being cardinal, right? So we know that we're very supportive and we're getting lost in things, but we still want like our own space within there. We want a role within someone else's life. We want like a role within, um, or like a place to be ourselves and create uh, within that, like still coming from a personally creative and sort of Aryan kind of nature, um, but only under and only if um, it's supported by the currents and the situations at hand. So yeah, so then we can go into how 34 move, um, which is just uh, 1 times 34 and 2 times 17, uh, which is both fire by water, doubly so. Uh, we can see so this fire by water placement and multiplication shows us, uh, like we already said, we're always balancing our self-interest and direction with the current. We're always making sure we're embedding it um, through um, the external world, through our family, through um, the social current, through uh, what's kind of accepted and what's drawing us out um, like politically and socially uh, and environmentally as well. So yeah, um, yeah, a little bit about its movement. Uh, now to get into 34's individuality is it expresses itself four in the first place and three in the second, right? Um, so then we start to see that um, it's coming from a personally creative role, but it's trying to create off of what makes sense, or it's trying to uh, ha like do have a new way of going about what's already done. Uh, is kind of four. Um, yeah, having a new way of going about what's already done. And then three in the second is kind of leaning on your family and leaning on your friends for your personal habits and structures and reasoning. As it's kind of be going to be a little incorporated on other people's opinions, but still self-motivated, uh, three in the second. So, yeah, again, personally, um, still being creative, right? But just trying to expand upon what's already done for in the first. And then having the habits and structures of... Uh, leaning on your friends and leaning on your family and kind of asking for opinions on your personal matters and leaning on that um, three in the second. Um, yeah, so that's a little bit about 34. So, hey, my uh, awesome 34s. Enjoy your day. Uh, any more information, hit me up. I'm always down to speak. Uh, hey, bubbling, citra, beach.